is the cell only swelling or organelle is also swelling everything is swelling so when water comes inside the cell so all the organelle is also get swollen okay are swollen now one of the organelle which is very important here is your ribosomes so when the swelling occurs in the ribosome the two subunits get separated okay so because the two units are getting separated now so the protein synthesis is going to decrease so there is decreased protein synthesis so when the protein synthesis decreases compensatorily the cell starts showing you fatty change the cells will start showing you fatty change so this fatty change that you see is another feature which you can see in your reversible cell injury so whenever we have reversible cell injury always remember reversible means if you give oxygen it can be reverted so if you give oxygen the ribosomes will come close together and they will start protein synthesis and fats will disappear so that is why can i say fatty change and hydropic change are two very important microscopic changes or morphological changes seen in reversible cell injury so very important feature of reversible cell injury are hydropic change and fatty change okay so they are seen in the microscope now another point so this is about what is happening inside the cell what about outside the cell so when the swell is swelling so the microvilli on the top will also get lost because of swelling so there will be loss of microvilli there will be loss of microvilli sometimes so much water comes inside the cell that le this leads to formation of blebs so bleb formation starts so this can be seen under electron microscopy so if you look at electron microscopy the microvilli are lost the blebs are formed formed that's a very classical feature of reversible cell injury so if we have to make a gist can we make a gist what do, what have we started so whenever we have cell injury so first thing that happens is decreased oxidative phosphorylation the pumps stop so water starts coming in cells swelling occurs the swelling is called hydropic change there's loss of microvilli bleb formation all the organelles are also swollen but ribosomes do units get separated so protein synthesis stop compensatory fat change is started apart from that this mild chromatin condensation now one more thing here so is water going inside the nucleus also yes of course so in the inside the nucleus also this will cause disaggregation this will cause disaggregation of granular and fibrillar elements okay so this will cause disaggregation of granular and fibrillar elements of the nucleus so that's another classical feature that you will see